Warmley Clock Tower is located on the outskirts of Bristol and built in the 1740s. When William Champman moved to the area, for the first hundred years or so it was associated with copper, brass and zinc works and was considered as the Champion Factory. By 1847, stoneware goods were being manufactured and parts of the building rebuilt as an office for the pottery. With over 250 years of history, the building has seen many comings and goings, including being used as a boot factory, carpenter's store and moulder's store for the pottery. Since the 1960s, the building has been a youth club and owned by the Clock Tower Association. Paranormal teams have reported shadows, sudden spikes in EMF in certain areas, voices and footsteps, with much activity being in the old sewing room. Tonight the team will investigate to see if the Warmley Clock Tower really is haunted. We are live from Warmley Clock Tower. Um, it's currently in what I think was the crash at one point on the middle floor. Keep it's going to call out. Let me take you over here. So in in here, we've got the White Witch's Room, Sam here, introduce yourself, <laughs> I'm Yara, Marion, Clive, Hannah, Claire, can you come and touch one of us please, we'll make a sound, into a spirit box session, see if we can generate anything. We've got here is, that's just out in the hallway where I've just come down the stairs. That is downstairs uh, corridor. This room here is the White Witch's room. Uh, I'm guessing they do rituals and stuff in there, I'm not 100% sure of all that sort of stuff. This is the weaving room, uh, which is basically the attic of the building. Whoa. That's the attic of the building where we heard a growl, literally as we were setting up the cameras. Um, that is the middle floor area. So just here is, there's a flat which is based on the outskirts of the building. Um, so I'll keep hearing tapping. On the outskirts of the building is a flat which has basically got two floors. This is the kitchen area and the living room. Um, and we also got the bedroom which is down here, which is just above it. And then here we've got the room that we're just in, which is the middle room. Okay, we're in the type of attic area in the, the weaver's room where earlier when we were setting up the CCTV. We had like a growl noise. Someone's up here with us. Can they make a noise, please? We heard you earlier, now we're all back. Come on, touch something or move something. Everywhere I go, so we get stabbed. Like it's just, a little. No, it's bit. like it's like a cramp, like Tommy cramp had downstairs. Yeah. See, for me, mm. that end of the room feels different. Mm. Now I don't know if it's because I, obviously, what could be underneath mm. that area. Just There's any spirit down here that would like to communicate with us? Can you come forward? Well, 
you up here earlier when me and Stephen Kay were setting up? Can you move this table? Try and rock it. We'll push one of these um, things off. <laughs> yarn, is it yarn? Yarn, is it yarn? Is there a lady here with us? Come on, this lady here from earlier. You trying to scare us? Whoa, that was that? me, that was me. Oh. Fucking dropped the fucking thing. Bollocks. Oh, <laughs> you doing I'm sure it was me anyway, I don't... Whoa, that was that? me, that was me, oh. fucking dropped the fucking thing. It's quite tight though, to be fair. That's what I heard a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. But it was like it sounded like it was coming out there. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you speak? Is this the right? Try and clearly tell us your name. Stay there if I was you, mate. It's coming from that room. It's like it's guiding you to the flat, to be honest. Huh? It's like it's guiding you to the flat. Because huh. the further you go out there, the more active that is. Is anybody sat down that you're drawn to and you go towards them? Big, just a flash then, right near you. Did someone go and touch the bear? No. Or just, I haven't even got <laughs> Are you mapping? Not, Not yet. yet. We can see you now, but... Oh, 
I'm going to touch the bear. Right, stay there for a second. Can you touch Marion on, on the hand? Reach out and touch her hand. He's coming. She means you no harm. She's friendly. Oh, there, there. He's touching She's touched touching it. She's touched it. Can you feel any difference? Yes, tingling. Sort of like a tiny prickle. Thank yeah. you. He's touched you now. She's, it's touching you. Is that one on her? No, it's her. From that top's gone. It's, it's a bit getting confused. Where's the kid gone from the top? Still I'm, I've come off into a separate part of the building, uh, into the flat where there used to be a fire. If you're here, can you make a noise? I've already heard tapping since I've been in this room. On, on the window at the front. I mean you no harm. I can feel what you're going through. I don't want you to suffer. There's basically there's a room upstairs, uh, the bedroom and bathroom. Uh, but we feel like the bloke, the man that died, was down here in the flat. As I stepped foot in this in this room, I felt like I was being suffocated and then just felt sick basically. Uh, and I know you're trying to communicate with me. I'm here on my own. I mean you no harm, I don't want to feel like I'm trespassing. I'm going to put the um, spirit portal on now. So if you can hear me, I'm going to put this device on, you can speak through it. Like you were earlier with the spirit box. Are you here? Yes. What's your name? Did anyone hear it? Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, I know you did, mate. I know you heard me. That was you saying escape. Say it again, please. It's not Steve, is it? It's not Steve. Not it. Well, what you know is dead. Literally, the spirit box was in Sam's front pocket. Her arms were to the side. It's my arms were holding this. Oh was that you? Do you like being called Dick? I'm sorry, Richard. The ground is shook. There's a few active areas in, in the building. Um, the middle floor corridor seems quite active, I, I think. All right. You say there was like um, the static teddy bear thing? Yeah, static teddy bears sat in the upstairs kitchen on the counter. Steve gave us a shout, we come running, and it's absolutely going off berserk, as in like someone's actually holding it. Yeah, you physically have to touch the top as well, don't you? Yeah. For it to activate. Sam's going to be blindfolded, she's going to have the spirit box in her ears. We're going to call out questions, hoping the spirits can answer those questions. Sam obviously can't hear the questions we're answering. And we're going to see if we can get any intelligent responses through Sam. Hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Left. Who's that? My name's Steve. I'm here. Okay. Is this Richard? Come on, come on. Is this Richard? Is this the man that died in the fire? Him. Whereabouts are you stood? That fire? The flat. Flat. Come. Where are you? 
Come where? Bye bye. No, come back please. Unless someone else wants to come forward. There's another spirit here. Can you tell us your name? We are. We are here. It's us. How many? Oh, Who's around me? Nobody. Nobody. Well. Sorry, Sam, we're here. We're no one's there. No she one's there. She can't hear us. Are you trying to touch Sam? Someone's touching her. I've got, I ain't got the temperature going. Can anyone hear me? Me. Uh, little Lord, right you? around the back of her, just before she started feeling it was. Wait, alright, he's gone. It was low down. The dog? Is the dog here? Is your okay. dog. Can that reach that? Hmm. It can, yeah. You want to just test it? The last bit of it. Cool. Help grow. Help grow. Where are you? Catch me. Are you upstairs? If the spirits are here, I want you to tell me what animal was in this building. Hiya. Hi. Oh, that was nasty. Off that. Stop. What? Is there a woman in here? It's what? You don't know. I don't know. What happened? Possibly. It was like a scream and off that. Off what? It was just like a weird different voice coming through. A scream in the month. What kind of questions were you asking? What, 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 did, it, what did you say? What did you say? Do you say there was a scream and then something? And off yeah. that. Off what? I don't know. That's what it just. It was like a what woman. a scream then off that. Like pitch, like off that. They jump out the window. I could hear her speaking on yeah, it. Yeah, I could hear her talking. What? Inside. Fire. What? Inside fire? Okay, we're staying.